words of wisdom from Wisconsin. And today's show is part good. Okay, part two for those who are not Francophile. More peaches and these heirloom tomatoes. I'm gonna make tomato jam. Okay, so I'm not gonna use sterilized jars, okay? I'm, I washed them, but this isn't like, you know, with the tongs and the boiling water and all of that jazz. Okay, let's go. I always say you gotta have a hairnet on. Say, I've got a hairnet. And you gotta have your chef's hat. You have to look professional because that's 90% of the, the whole job of being a professional gourmet cook, okay? You gotta look the part, all right? Now, I'm going to put the recipes in the description below, okay? And give credit where credit is due, okay? Okay, now I've blanched the tomatoes. That's where you put them in boiling water for a little bit. And then you put it in cold water, ice water. And then you can just peel it right off. I feel like I'm on Little House on the Prairie. And I'm cooking the old fashioned way, okay? This is like, if I'm ever in, caught, lost out in the woods or the jungle, it, I'm hungry and all I have are some tomatoes. I know how to make tomato jam now. I'll be good to go. I'll survive, I'll survive. And I'm going, I blast these tomatoes, I peeled them, I'm gonna chop them up and it just says, is that you, you just put everything together in the pot and bring it to a boil and simmer. So I'm just going to start putting things in the pot. The two pounds of tomatoes, blanched and peeled, a third of a cup brown sugar, three tablespoons apple cider vinegar. Chop up all of that stuff and put that in the pan too. And I'll show you once I get all of that in there, okay? How much tomato jam is this supposed to make? Maybe I used more than two pounds. Hey, we're gonna be eating a lot of tomato jam for a long time. So, okay, it calls for a third of a cup of brown sugar, okay? Now, if you watch my other show about how to make the peach jalapeno chutney, I added half a cup of sugar and half a cup of maple syrup. Oh, hush, hush, secret ingredient. I'm gonna do the same thing here of the other third of a cup of maple syrup. Oh. Give it that Midwestern flair. Okay, so I've added everything that I said I was gonna add that was part of the recipe. Then it says just put this on the hob and let it cook until it boils and all simmers down and gets really thick and stuff and then you've got your jam. Okay, but you know what? I, I don't think I cut the tomatoes small enough. This is one of my mom's gadgets. See, Ma, I'm still using your gadgets from Kenosha, okay, when I was growing up. And I'm just gonna smush the tomatoes. So then while that's cooking, I'm going to start with my peach jam. This is like an all day event. And my tomato jam is still simmering away. Look, look. See, it's like a sauce, but it's the liquid is going down. The liquid's going down. So I'm going to taste test now. I'm gonna taste that tomato jam again. Okay, ready? mellifluous on my tongue. Oh my gosh. Again, it's like tomato, but it's got hints of fall in it. Maple syrup, I added the maple syrup. You could taste it in there. It's been fantastic. I hope that you've enjoyed this little show and it's given you some tips and ideas on how you too can make tomato jam, peach jam, and then watch my other show on how to make peach Jalapeno chutney. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye. Wow.